Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's Mel from Everything Marmy. How are you doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. I have a combined haul today and I'm just going to jump right on in it because there's a fair amount. So, um, one of the things that I had not needed at all, completely did not need, was um, more paper and more uh, sets. Um, but I'd been seeing all over the Garden Party by Maggie Holmes and I, what can I say, I got sucked in because it's beautiful. It's a beautiful set. And so I went on scrapbook.com. That's the card they sent me. And I ordered the, um, well, it was supposed to be five pieces. I ordered the Garden Party Collection 6x8 paper pack this one here and it's absolutely like it's stunning it's beautiful look at that look at the colors like look at the colors in that isn't that stunning no wonder everybody loves this thing and I got the um, 6 by 12 sticker set which is double-sided I just love the houses and then I got the um, pack of washi tape and the sticker book, which is a tiny sticker book, if you think that's my hand, but it's got 302 stickers, I believe, 304 stickers in it. And that's all of them there. I'll get right good and close. And that's the front. And I ordered the tassels because they're so cute. Now, I think scrapbook.com made a mistake because two of the books were stuck together. So I ended up getting two of the garden parties. So what I might do, folks, is when I get to my 333 subscribers, I might just put one of these into the package because they're such a beautiful book and I, I don't need to. So I did get one for free and I like to pass on certain things. So they did give me two. And so I think I'll stick one away with the other stuff I've been collecting for that. Um, it's just going to be a giveaway. I cannot do any more challenges. I, I can't do, I can't do them. I don't have the heart to do them. So then after all this time, all this time, I've been waiting for a mount, an overhead mount so that I can film some of my artwork, so I can film what's in your purse and whatnot. So I went to order a couple of times and for one reason or another, I couldn't get into the site. And finally, 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 I did and it came today. And this, I wanna show you while it's still in the box, this is going to be my solution, folks, to my overhead problems. And right here, as you can see, you can put your iPad. I believe you could even put your, like a secondary phone or whatever, and then you've got your phone up here, which can twist, and then you can see if you're in frame or not. And so I got that. And it's quite a heavy duty piece. So, and um, it comes with a ring light if you needed it. You know, I have a ring light. I've never used one. I find that when I'm watching people who use ring lights, I find that there's a lot of like back glare and whatnot. So anyway, I got those two things in the mail and I'm just gonna put that over there so it's secure. And then I went to a thrift store, enabled again by Jean because she found some wonderful stuff. So this bag here is my own bag. And I just put these finds in it. So um, I will show you what I got. I got this container. It says felt owls and it has all of these bits and pieces in it. I guess at one point it was 12 or 15 pounds. But it comes with quite a few. Um, just open it up here. It comes with like embroidery thread and you can make all of these creatures. It's got the little outline and all the felt bits to it. But I really bought it for this baggie of stuff here so I can make little tassels. And I paid $2.50 for that. And I had to look really close because you could barely see it. It was like right there. 
So then I bought this book here. And it's quite a long book. And there's, um, I think there's four or five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? So there's nine of these sheets, which are about, they're about 11 inches long. So what I'm going to do, I think, is cut them in half and make a book out of them, some sort of a, a book out of them. And this was only a dollar. And then, um, what else did I get? I got this huge bag of charms and stuff. And um, this bag was $3. I'll show you right here. It was $3. No sales, no nothing today. And um, staples, I have to be careful. There's some boxes of these little Christmas fellas in there. These little snowmen. I guess they're like little suction cups. Do you see? And so there's like Rudolph and Santa Claus. Let me just try to hold the box up so you can all see them. Because you could fall out. They can fall out. So this was all in the box. Those ones there. And then these are like, a lot of them are like wine toppers. And they have like the corresponding box that they can sit in like that. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then there's another one here too. I guess that one probably sits like that. So they sit in these boxes. And then there's this one here. And there's this metal one here. Now I know my neighbor, she drinks a lot of wine or my daughters do around the holidays, but I don't. Now all of, all of these have like charm bits on them, you see? And I figured I could take them apart and use them. Let's see if it focuses. For like Christmas journals. And it even has like, this one has an angel on it. And so the whole bag is literally full of these like charms, which I thought were neat. I'm just wondering if there's, I think there's a stocking one, you see? And these are pretty heavy duty metal ones. And then there's this one here that's like that. And you know, you got your sled and your, they're pretty cool. And then of course, all these beads that say Noel because they're supposed to be for, I guess on the glass, like when you're putting like for a wine goblet or something. So I figure if I take those apart, I'd have enough beads for a good project or two. So yeah, all of those beads plus those other items for $3. And then I got this package of stamps and I overpaid for this package of stamps, but they're brand new and they are botanicals and they cost me $5. So I probably could have bought them new for that price, but they're practically new. So there was no deals for me today. And I didn't feel like going to Value Village. And then I got this Sticker Dolly Dressing, dressing Fashion Designer um, book. Now, most of the stickers have been used, but the dolls themselves, I thought if I left that book instead of cutting it, and let me just get to the pages where there are the dolls, because obviously, okay, there's the dolls there. So if I cut out those dolls or like these dolls here, and I put them on this, I could make a really neat like collage flip. And I might just do that because a lot of these pages, like I said, except for this cute little pug here with the flag, you see him? He hasn't been used. And there's some stickers in here that haven't been used. But for the most part, um, it would be the dolls that I would be after to fussy cut out. And I only paid, a well, I paid a dollar for that. 
And then, so that was one thrift store and was that it? And then I went to another thrift store that's near my house and their books are pretty cheap. So I got this Life, the Story of Santa. I got this um, magazine here for 50 cents. I got this Greystone Encyclopedia of Crafts. And these are great for cutting out pictures too. But there's a lot of like it's a it's very much a 70s book. In fact, I have to look now. Yeah, 1975. I mean, look at the cover. Doesn't that bring you back? Happy times. So I got that for 50 cents. I got the Disney yearbook, 1987. And um, I'm just gonna flip it backwards because it's easier for me to do it. But the images on this are just stunning. I'm not even in proper frame, I'm sorry folks. It just tells about what goes on in the stories of that year. So I got that for 50 cents. And then these books were a dime each. And I think I scored. Now they're the older little golden books. And do you see what I mean about how like it's so different on the sides? But they're still in pretty good shape. If I can open the pages up. Like, look at the images. They're just beautiful. So I got Mr. Dog for a dime. I got Donald Duck and the One Bear. And I'm just going to try to flip to the pages since I'm having a hard time with my hands today. And then I got Disney DuckTales. Ebenezer Scrooge and the duck. And then I got the three little pigs and I love the three little pigs. When I was in grade seven, I wrote the three little energizer batteries. So, or the three little battery cells, I think it was. So, and the images on this are just beautiful as well. I'm picking apples. And then I got this Reader's Digest Complete Book of the Garden. And I couldn't resist for 75 cents. Like absolutely stunning. 75 cents. And then my final book, folks, this was, it says a dollar on it, but I paid 10 cents because it was in a bin because it's falling apart. And so because it's falling apart, I can cut the images out and, and that's exactly what I plan on doing because almost every single page of this is pictures of birds. Every single page. Birds, birds, birds. So these are great for junk journaling. And there's even an old, like, just finding it now, bird feeder surveys. This is November 13, 1987. I love finding things like that in here. I found money in, in books. I found all sorts of things in books before. What's the most you've ever found in a book? Have you ever found money in a book? So yeah, that is my combined haul. Anyway, folks, I hope your day is going well. And I just wanted to come on here and say, how are you doing? And to show you what I've picked up today and, and uh, wish you all a beautiful day. Anyway, remember, you're perfectly imperfect. You're loved, wanted, and needed. And until next time, know I love you. Bye for now.